Sam, kind of seen you uh, rotate in a little bit uh, with the ones in the last few days. I mean, just, just how does it kind of, you know, maybe reward your intensity through the first eight, nine days to kind of get these reps with the ones and, and really be in the mix for that free safety spot? Uh, it's been great, you know, and I'm, it's a real learning process for me, but being out there with Jay Lee and Armani and beside those guys, they just know the scheme so well. So it's been, it's been real great to get along with them, and, you know, play beside them. How much different is this fall camp kind of feel than from the spring when you were still trying to learn the playbook, kind of assimilate yourself into uh, with the team and kind of grasp everything as now you're kind of in, you know, full speed, uh, you know, kind of know what your role is here? I just say my confidence. My confidence has changed a lot. And, you know, being there and just seeing everything, now it's slowed down to 10. So just seeing the play is way easier. Been maybe a couple of young guys who have impressed you so far? Uh, Reese Sylvester, for sure. He's just He's got a knack for the ball and running to the ball and just, he seems like an older guy, honestly. You wouldn't see him to be a freshman. Been asking all the coaches, the players this, been asking you as well. Favorite musical artist? It's got to be Rod Wave. Who? Rod Wave. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, what, what kind of went into your decision to, you know, return home and, and how important was that to, to come back to this area? Oh, uh, it's mostly my family. You know, I've always I started out at Utah, which is pretty far from my family, and then went to City, which is also a pretty good distance away. And now, you know, they get to make all the games, and I get to be next to them again. So that's a real big focal point. What, what do you think, uh, just individually? What, what have you improved on yourself mostly over the last, maybe last season playing in JUCO to, to now? Uh, uh, how would you define your game and you know I guess what you're best at yeah for sure just my confidence honestly and it's like my coach talks about being vocal that's what something I've struggled with I'm a quiet guy but since I've been out here it's been my vocals got way better and you know just being loud because I got to be the quarterback of the defense it's maybe been the emphasis in the in the safety room or just maybe for the DBs overall like uh, what do you guys think that you maybe have made major strides in over these last couple of weeks and what's kind of highlighted for uh, right for sure communication that's been that's been big like I just brought up but and also just you know looking for the ball and looking to take advantage of strips and just getting the ball in the air how would you assess just the defensive performances in team drills so far seems like you feel like you're on a good pace to continue that kind of takeaways trend that oh for pushes. sure our coach uh, he looks for us to get 30 takeaways during this time and we're about 16 right now so we're just looking to get to that 30 by the end of camp so it's a big focus point how would you define the the culture at wazoo right now under dicker when you when you came in here was there something about just kind of the people and the way this place is run that uh, oh to you? oh yeah oh yeah it's just different you know everybody just it's a family it's a real family culture you know everybody's together and there's a whole lot of love and that's what we kind of it's one of our core values is love and just you know being together what can you say about the wide receivers how's it been you know at how tough has it been or how good has it been just being able to cover a guy a group oh, as talented as that? It's been amazing. A guy like Lincoln Victor, you know, we got Don Ali, just some dynamic dudes. And, you know, Be- Be- Beeson, he just came from Oregon State, and he's he's going to be a pretty dynamic receiver as well. Then two weeks down into camp, and then we got two weeks before the first game of two and a half there. Um, are you tired of hitting the same guys every single day, or are you looking forward at this point to seeing someone else finally? Oh, I can't wait to see somebody else. But, you know, it's good to play against some of the better guys in the Pac-12, I feel like, and, you know, they've given me a good look. Yeah. And then last few days of camp, what are you just hoping to accomplish and just get done before we hit that regular practice schedule? Uh, just my confidence, you know, being vocal, like I said, it's just something I've really struggled with. But every day I'm getting better and better at it, and, you know, I just got to be vocal because that's what's going to – to take me over that hump I've been kind of, you know, down behind. Thanks, man. How'd you like the uh, the bump drills over there? What you say? Oh, <laughs> say well, hey, I got out pretty early, but, you know, I like to take it. I played basketball in high school, got a state championship, but that didn't really show over there, so it was tough.